The statement says power rationing has already commenced in Tabubil and Kiunga. The mine will remain operational until essential supplies such as fuel and food run out. Other coping measure the company is taking is in downsizing its employee numbers. This will begin with what they call non-essential personnel and will continue until only a skeleton crew remains. They say this downsizing will affect 30% of expatriate staff and 15% of local staff. The Western Provincial Government and the PNG Government budget depend heavily on the mine's dividends and the revenue from the taxes that it generates. Low water levels was one of the reasons for the company losing a significant amount of profit last year when they were only able to make 17 million US dollars compared to their 2012 profit of 472 million dollars. In this statement, the company says the low water levels have affected the reliable shipping of copper to Port Moresby, which has created uncertainty around the mine's cash flow. The Western Provincial Governor arrived back from a trip to Fiji today and his staff say his office will be commenting on this issue in the coming days. Due to the mine's significant contribution to the Western Province budget, OTML is in the process of working out an emergency response plan with the provincial administration. Apart from the media release, the company remains tight-lipped on any other information on this matter. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.